nothing Nothing can divide us Nothing separating us Let's go, let's go Started work in the Grand Canyon today Check out my place, check out my place I'll give you a proper tour Maybe next video or something But we're gonna go on the walk and shine viewers from the Grand Canyon so today I'm working today and you see I'm at desert view with this little structure that was built way back in the day and you got the entire canyon over there which is like literally the most beautiful landscape I've ever seen in my life when I first laid my eyes on it I was absolutely speechless I kid you not I'm gonna get a little closer and let you get a, a better look at it. Okay, are you ready to witness the glory? Here we go. Nah, you're not ready. You're not ready. Are you ready to witness the glory? Bam, 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 bam. Look upon this blood clot. Look at this man. Video, picture. I don't care if it's from an IMAX fucking camera. It does not do justice like how your raw eyeballs will do. This is stunning. And I work literally in a shop right over there. And I get to do this on my free time. Just sit here and meditate. This beautiful sight. It's like you're back in the time with the dinosaurs or something. Look at that. and shine from the Grand Canyon. I'm in my my housing, which is a long trailer. And the canyon is like past this forest over there where the sun is. Might go walk over there. You can hear the birds. So let me give you a little mini house tour, man. So if you've been following me for a while, you know, last year I was up in Alaska and I stayed in a, a tiny cabin, which was really good. I loved it. No complaints on that. But this year, we on another level with this whole trailer to myself. Not yet, we got this whole trailer to myself. So we got the kitchen. You know, with the stove, the microwave, which I don't even really use. I don't like to microwave things. Let's see, we got the dirty dishes because I ain't clean my dishes yet. But let's see, we got some people out there. Um, yeah, man. We got the fridge. I don't really got nothing much in the fridge going on because when I came here, it was like completely empty. They said they're gonna bring some food, which is what they do for employees. But yes, yeah, so we got the TV. I got this little hallway with like um, two more rooms, a couple of beds in it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah. I actually locked myself out of this place like twice already and had to climb through this window. So I keep it open just in case. 
<laughs> but yeah, man, this is nice. Um, a little luxury, I will say, compared to where I was staying last year. So we got the washer and dryer on deck. Um, two bunk beds in here. The one with the blue cover is mine. Don't mind the mess. You know, I got my lucky tiger with me. My camera and those things, like this little map. My bathroom. You guys like my robe I got from Tanzania, by the way. This is a robe that the Maasai make, the Maasai tribe. And I got it from this kid named Justine. Um, he was the son of my first host I had when I went to Tanzania and did a teaching thing. But yeah, shout out to them. You already know we got this shea butter, which I've been using for like the past two years and it works fantastic. You know, you got the coconut oil. You know, I use this stuff for everything. Like, you know, I got like a burn on my skin or just like substitute for lotion, chapstick, a hair conditioner, same thing with the coconut oil. And I got some soaps here. Got some turmeric soap I got from my trip a couple weeks ago when I was in Jamaica. Which is really good by the way. It has like a nice ginger smell and it's like food, literally food for your skin. And you know we got charcoal toothpaste and neem toothpaste, which neem toothpaste, I kid you not, look at my teeth. Not a single ounce of plaque and I haven't been to a dentist for a cleaning and I don't know how long, three years now and I'm completely fine. All thanks to that toothpaste. I ain't no professional, nothing, I'm no doctor, but if you want a healthy, if you want a healthy oral, whatever you call it, I suggest neem toothpaste or charcoal toothpaste. Toothpaste that doesn't have like, um, most of that stuff called fluoride. You know, we got the black soap on deck. So yeah, this is the place, man, I'm in. I'm gonna wanna be here for like two months. Um, yeah, I'm working in this little deli, slash gift shop, slash ice cream shop. It's like all connected and everything, but it's nothing too crazy, but it's a good place to, it's a great place because if you see the amount of nature that is surrounded by me right now, like it's crazy. If I end up going outside, I'll catch some clips and show you. But yeah, I am highly, highly grateful and happy right now. Uh, only thing that kind of sucks up here is like, the people I work with is mostly older people, which is not a problem, but you know, I'm trying to mingle with some people my age, you know, with some personality who haven't like, you know, lived out their life already, you could like expand conversations if you get what I'm, if you get what I'm trying to get at, you know? But yeah, it's like one of the other few cons. And then where I'm at is so remote that it's very far from um, grocery stores. So for me to get groceries, I gotta have somebody go into the town for me or I get a ride to the town or something like that, which is about two hours away. It's lit. I'm very content with my life right now. But um, nowhere near settling, I'm still just on a journey of growth, man. All this traveling is really, really changing my life. And I highly recommend people to do it. I mean, I'm literally just waiting for people to come to me and ask me for advice on how to get started. But I guess it will come when, whenever they're ready. People who really genuinely want to do it will reach out. So if you're interested in traveling like if you're an american and you're inst interested in traveling and you want to start little and travel america first i highly recommend seasonal work this is jamaican saying dance a yard before you dance abroad which means travel your own country before you go outside you feel me so and nothing is impossible nothing is impossible so yeah in a few months um i definitely I want to get a trip to go back to go to Africa again, especially on um, Tanzania because my visa there is good for a year. And it's, I think it becomes not valid. My visa for Tanzania is good until January. 
So I might as well use that up and I met some good people there, so why not pay another visit and explore more of the country, you know? You know, a lot of people tend to ask me, how am I able to travel? Oh, I wanna travel like you. Oh, I wish I could live this kind of life. This, this, that. But honestly, and this is not just with travel, this is with anything in life. When you wanna do something and you wanna change, you have to change your mindset and the way you see things. Because perspective is everything. I kid you not. My perspective is way different than three years ago and I'm so proud of myself of how far I have come as a person, all these stories I have to tell that I couldn't even tell in a single YouTube video. I mean, it's amazing and I'm forever grateful and I'll always be willing to pass down the wisdom, knowledge to the next generations or anyone who, who is willing to actually change because many times a lot of people they say they want this and that, but it's a select few who is really willing to put in the work and the mindset shift. So peace and love to the next video. Peace.